This year is presenting some very unique challenges for all of us in society as we deal with the COVID-19 situation. It is also presenting some challenges as we look to start the hockey season and the officiating season. We will all need to follow the guidelines established for us by our local health authorities and follow the guidelines established for us in hockey in our back to play protocols in our home province. Be sure to follow information on your branch webpage and be aware of the protocol in your province. Let's all be prepared to return to the ice, whether that may be in a week, a month or a bit longer. Take some time to prepare physically and take some time to prepare mentally as well, reviewing your rule book and other resources as you prepare to register with your branch. We are all excited as we look forward to getting back on the ice. Let's be ready to go when the opportunity is given to us. I'd like to welcome you back to another hockey season. The Western Hockey League and our partners, BC Hockey, Hockey Alberta, Saskatchewan Hockey Association, and Hockey Manitoba are excited to welcome you to another season of the Western Officiating Branch Partnership. This year we're excited to bring you many different aspects of fishing to help you reach your officiating goals. With the help of our branch partners, as well as current and former NHL officials, we hope to provide you with many of the tools needed to become a successful official. Let's hear from some of our partners. Welcome to the 2020-21 season. I hope this message finds everyone and their families safe and healthy. This season is going to be like none other before and I encourage our officials to embrace it with an open mind. Officials are ambassadors for the game and your leadership on and off the ice will be more important than ever before as hockey returns to our communities. Things will look different this year, from our clinics to our arenas to the game itself on the ice. More than ever, our motto of officiating being about more than dropping pucks will be relevant. We would like to thank the WHL, our fellow Western branches, on committing to another season's worth of video development resources by way of this series, and hope it provides some support as we navigate through our new normal. Good luck this season, and thank you for your participation. Welcome to another season of the Western Branches Officiating Development Partnership. At Hockey Alberta, as across the world, we have been affected by the recent pandemic. And although there's been a minor delay in rolling out our in-person clinics, we are excited to be in the development season of our return to hockey plan. And we hope to be playing full hockey games with players, coaches, parents, fans, and of course us, officials, sooner rather than later. Enjoy the videos assembled by our partners at the Western Hockey League and have a great hockey season. Hi everyone, my name is Trent Say, Manager of Officiating Development for the Saskatchewan Hockey Association. And I wanna welcome you back to another hockey season. This year is gonna look a little bit different due to uh, COVID-19 with some changes to the certification process um, and some new policies and procedures. But we want to make sure that we get everybody back on the ice and, and returning to hockey uh, in a safe way uh, to enjoy this game. Uh, with the sudden end to last season, I know it was, it was tough on a lot of officials, but everybody's eager to get back into work. Uh, really looking forward to this partnership with the Western Branches of Fishing and Development season. And I want to leave you with this last note. Come into the season with a good attitude, uh, come in in shape, control what you can control, learn your rules, get into the rule book, know the return to play uh, policies that are in place within your areas, and uh, welcome back to the family, get ready to get out there and earn your stripes, and have a good season. Hello everyone, my name is Charles Bergstresser, I'm the coordinator of officials for Hockey Manitoba, and I want to welcome you to the third installment of our partnership with the Western Provinces and the WHL. Hockey Manitoba is looking very forward to the upcoming topics that will be discussed and released throughout the year. We also are looking to increase and grow our video library so we are better able to assist all of our young officials in the upcoming years. I hope everyone has a healthy and safe year and I look forward to seeing you on the ice. I think the branch coming up uh, huge, huge supporter, of course, right? So they they give you a lot of um, a lot of knowledge and information, and spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you. Like I know, coming up, I had a lot of mentors coming up from from my branch uh, back in Victoria and Power River where I grew up. So um, I had a lot of people take me under their wing and show me a lot of um, just a lot of things, just from basic when you're starting at 12 years old. So. Um, just a lot of just little things, just people taking the extra time for me. The branch is where it all starts and the branch is where you're taking the, you know, the two or three games a day and uh, again seeing as much hockey as you can um, at, the, at the branch level. I grew up in Saskatchewan and at the time we were very fortunate. I'm, I'm not 
as familiar now with the branch, but we were very fortunate that you gave young people a chance and supported you right from the get-go. And I think that just helped establish a, a good foundation. And again, they had um, people willing to give back to the game and act as supervisors. Growing up in Winnipeg, we had great uh, mentors of this game. I um, finished playing hockey when I was 17, turned to officiating and was able to fall right into uh, some great individuals that kind of led the way for me throughout my amateur career and gave me the skill set to continue on into my NHL career. As we got into the Western Hockey League and then on to the National Hockey League, we uh, always kind of joke in the room with regards to where we're from and, and uh, what association you came with or what, a, what province you came through. And uh, I worked with guys like Rob Martell and Ryan Galloway and it was, uh, it was always easy to ring the Manitoba bell because not only did we, uh, not only did we say it, but we actually believed it. Uh, we showed the pride every day um, by, frankly, how we tried to treat other people within, uh, within the game. Officials at all levels need to be both physically and mentally prepared to the start of each season. Even though for many of us, officiating is not a full-time job, our commitment and dedication must be the same as the professionals. Let's hear some thoughts from a few NHL officials on the importance of preparation. Well, the game has certainly moved to a level of speed that we've never seen before at all levels, whether it's Bantam Hockey or uh, the National Hockey League. It's, it, the speed is the focus. Um, the speed and skill, there's no more the rough and tumble style. Uh, it's about puck possession and, and, uh, and, and moving it up fast. And I think that that's important for us to be able to, to react accordingly. And that means maintaining fitness, working on skating, um, all those little things that, to, to keep the game at that fast level because it's certainly here uh, to stay. I think the one thing that I've learned over the years is instead of a up and down through the season and through the summer, I try and maintain a more status quo um, so it's not as much of a challenge in, in the summertime to get back to that ready um, state of mind and, and level of fitness for the fall. It's, if you can maintain it a little better year round, it certainly makes the preparation a lot easier in the summertime. Obviously the physical part of the summer is uh, keeping yourself in shape and by keeping myself in shape I mean the work started months ago. Uh, you know, the, the season had ended a while ago. Um, you need to be able to, um, to continue with your fitness. You know that the players are working hard in the summer and the players are getting themselves ready so you need to be at their level and, and if not in better shape. With the game the way it is, we need to be we need to be in shape just like the players. We need to be ready. Um, you need to be up with your rules and stuff like that. So um, I think it's just it's an everyday everyday event that there's always something that you're trying to hone and prepare for the uh, for the upcoming season. Together with our officiating partners, we look forward to the start of the hockey season. We hope you're all staying safe and have the ability to get some time on the ice as we continue to prepare for the upcoming season. We look forward to seeing you in upcoming episodes.